Good morning, lovelies. For today, I have a fun video planned. I am going to do a little clothing plus shoe haul from the brand Temu. So Temu is actually sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to them for reaching out to me and for sending me the products in today's video. But I figured I would get ready with you guys for the day. I wanna take my daughter to the mall cause she still has her birthday gift cards to Hot Topic that she wants to use. And we haven't been there in a little while. So it's Sunday, I figured I'd take her on a little outing but I am showered and moisturized and I just put a robe on because I want to show you the clothes I got from Timo first and then we're going to pick out what we're going to wear and I figured I could show you guys my little makeup routine and use the new foundation that I bought just the other day. So while I'm putting these leggings on, let me tell you about Timu. Timu is an online marketplace with competitively priced products such as fashion, jewelry, hair accessories, um, home decor, organizing stuff, cleaning supplies, pet supplies, baby supplies, kitchen supplies, literally anything you could ever need to find having to do with any subject is probably found on Temu. When I was searching their website to pick out the items for this category, I was blown away by everything I was seeing. Now, I get a little bit weary buying clothes from an online website. Um, I just never know like what the true quality is going to be like, but I'm so excited to show you guys these clothes because I'm genuinely impressed by the quality. Get into the pieces in just a second here. I just want to let you guys know that they are having a Christmas sale going on right now so you don't have much time left there is a Christmas sale and items can be up to 90% off but because you are my loyal subscriber and my loyal viewer you are going to get an extra 30% off of your order so don't forget to check the coupon code and links down in the description box for you not to mention that as a new user, you're going to get free shipping and a 90-day window for returns if you need to return anything. Tamu's products have a high-quality performance for a fraction of the price, you guys. So you're going to see these prices and you're not going to believe your eyes. But trust me when I tell you, looking at the products that I've already seen, they are very nice quality for the price and I am very impressed. They do accept all major credit and debit cards. They even have Afterpay, Google Pay, and even PayPal Pay. So let's go ahead and get into the products. I know you've been waiting patiently. Thank you so much. First off, I'm gonna show you the only pair of shoes that I got. I wanted to try shoes as well as clothes. Um, these are some shoes, this type of shoes, I've been wanting to try for a very long time. I've been seeing them everywhere. I've tried them at other places. They didn't quite fit my foot well. Um, but I took a chance and I got some off of Tamu's website because they have so many cute shoes, you guys. So this is, what do they call this? A loafer, a chunky loafer. I really wanted to try a chunky loafer in my wardrobe. This is a type of shoe shoe that I don't already have. I don't have this style of shoe and I've been wanting to try it with like a sweater dress with sheer tight uh, pantyhose or like a skirt outfit with sheer tight pantyhose. That's kind of the vibe. This is a loafer and it's going to give your outfit a completely different style, you know, like shoes are so important to the outfit and I just I'm so excited to try these on. Got these in a size 9 and the leather or the faux leather, excuse me, is very soft actually. It's not like hard and too firm or anything. Like it feels like it's actually going to move with your foot. And then the bottom looks like this. I love the chunkiness of the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and try this on. It fits. I'm so excited. And I probably won't be wearing them today, but they are true to size because I did get the size nine and I'm wearing a sock with them. And typically I think I'd wear pantyhose, but even with the sock, they fit comfortably. Um, and I've tried shoes like this before and my foot was too wide for it. I don't necessarily only shop for wide shoes, but my foot is a little bit wider 
than normal. So just keep that in mind. If you have a wider foot, these are definitely wider foot friendly. They fit so nicely. They feel really like cushiony and they look really 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 nice the next thing i got was a green sweater i just saw the sweater and i thought it looked really nice quality on the website so i wanted to give it a try this is in the size 1xl so what's great about their website is they have a straight size shopping section but they also have a curvy plus size section to shop in as well we love an inclusive website and here is the sweater it is an oversized turtleneck sweater and I want to say it has three quarter sleeves but it does have a drop sleeve it might be full because the it's a drop sleeve but um I love big oversized like turtlenecks like this I have one in a black color and I like this to go with faux leather leggings and some really nice faux leather boots like that is such a look it's such an easy outfit to put together and that's why i wanted to get one in another color because i just i saw this green ribbed one and it looked so nice and you guys the quality feels really really good it's not the thickest of sweaters so definitely wear like a tank top underneath like you're not gonna be if you live where i live in new england you're not gonna be warm enough just wearing this sweater. You're definitely gonna still need a jacket because it is a little bit on the thinner side. It's not like a chunky sweater, but the feel of the quality is actually really good. I'm like genuinely impressed you guys because I was nervous. So I was kind of thinking maybe this could be my Christmas sweater and I could wear this when I go to my mom's for Christmas. I love a chunky turtleneck. These are the only ones that look good on me because I have a slight double chin. So I don't like when turtlenecks are super tight because I feel like it just emphasizes it. So this one's kind of like a cowly neck turtleneck and that's exactly what I was going for. So thank God. <laughs> but this is a drop sleeve. So it comes right down to here. It is long sleeve full length. Thank you. I'm so glad that it is. Cause like when you look at a drop sleeve, like this it kind of looks like it won't go all the way down but it does and I have plenty of room on the sleeves as well if you are taller than me and again this is a 1xl generally I wear like an extra large sometimes a large if places run big but this is perfect for me so I'm an extra large and I ordered a 1xl if that helps you decide but there is sizing charts on there as well and there is a seam down the middle this is how far it goes down so my knee is right here. So it does cover the butt, which is really good. That's what I wanted because I would probably pair this with some faux leather leggings. Guys, you could even put a belt on this and that would be super cute as well. This is a really nice wardrobe staple. Next item I got was a t-shirt and I just saw the print on this t-shirt and I was like that is so me I have to get it and this is in a size extra large. Um, I believe it claimed that it was an oversized piece to begin with so I just went with an extra large and honestly this might be from the straight side and not the plus size side. It might be. Obviously, all the links will be down below so you can easily shop these products after the video. But here is the top. Look at this. Is this not a top that Chris would wear? I mean, it's a moth with skulls on it. Like, guys. Moth. Skull. Need I say more? Okay, so here's how that top looks. It's so comfortable you guys it says right here on the tag that it is 60 percent polyester 35 percent cotton and five percent spandex so it really does feel super good you can feel the cotton this is so cute this is just like a perfect shirt that i would pair with anything easy throw on shirt this is the next product and i think this is what i'm gonna wear for the day this is a black just mock neck turtleneck um, in the size 1XL. So I know a while ago I had a turtleneck and then I returned it because it wasn't the type of turtleneck that I think looks good on me personally. So I ended up getting this one and this one feels also very, very soft and smooth. And this is a mock neck. You see how it's not like a full on turtleneck. I think these just look better 
on me personally so let's put it on all right so here's that top obviously nothing crazy it's just a nice basic to have but i do think that the mock neck looks a lot better than that tight you know classic turtleneck on me personally it is stretchy as well all of these items have been stretchy by the way oh my gosh you can see all my rolls right now because <laughs> of the sunlight coming out from the window but yeah this is just a good basic to have but the star of the show you guys is this right here which i'm so excited about this is a puffer vest and puffer vests have been super in i do have a black one but i wanted to get this gorgeous neutral like brown color and this is in a size 1xl i mean isn't she beautiful like isn't she so pretty i love this color i actually have a beanie in this color that will match perfectly with it and that's the outfit i think i was going for for today so here she is oh my gosh this is absolutely perfect i was so nervous that the vest was going to be like too big or too small because if i wear a vest with my body type too big it just like make it makes me look bigger than i am but if it's too small then it's like i can't zip it you know what i mean so so here's what it looks like zipped the only thing is that there's no pockets down here but there is pockets up here which is interesting i would have rather have the pockets down here to be real with you um and then there's these bungee strings here you can tighten if you want to give yourself a little bit of a waist you can tighten it even more here but i do have a little bit of extra room for comfort which is nice but it's not oversized and it's not too tight there's two buttons right here at the collar and then there's a button down at the bottom to kind of like keep it closed. I think I'd probably wear it open like this, styled with some boots and a beanie. This is a really nice, simple winter look. This is the angle you're gonna be at. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. I wanna get something to like stick my phone on the mirror. Like some, I don't know, like something to stick on the back of it so I can just like stick it right on my mirror. All right, so I am already moisturized. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in with some primer. I've had a chance to try this one time. Actually, you guys, I don't know that I like the sleeves on this top. I kind of wish they were a little more fitted. And also I feel like they're a smidge too short. So just keep that in mind with this top. Um, I do like this part of it, but it actually feels like a little bit loose. I actually think I would prefer it a little bit tighter. I'm gonna take this primer. I might change out of this top to like a tighter black one. Um, so this is the e.l.f. I think it's like Power Grip Primer. Yeah, I had to change out of that. I'm sorry. Once I started moving, I realized it was like pulling. Like it wanted to just go like this. And it was like frustrating me. So yeah, that top, maybe not. That one is not my favorite. All right, so let's go ahead with primer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer Mist. And this is just for extra moisture. So I'm gonna let that soak into my skin for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead with this new foundation that I bought. I'm so excited to try this. This is the CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless 3-in-1 Foundation. I got mine in the shade Nude Beige because I have neutral undertones so I generally try to go with a nude and like hope for the best. I could pull warm undertones in the summertime, but in the wintertime, I just do neutral. So this has hyaluronic complex and vitamin C, and it claims to instantly reduce the appearance of wrinkles and improves tone and delivers firming moisture. So I'm very excited about this. I literally can't wait. What am I gonna use for a brush? I gotta be honest with you, all my brushes are not the cleanest right now because I just, I really don't do foundation that often. So like I forget to clean my brushes, but we're gonna go. Ooh, it kind of looks moussey. So I'm gonna go in with 
two pumps. I don't know. I might not use all of this. I may or may not have put too much. Oh. oh. Well, this shirt is ruined. <gasps> it's a good thing this shirt is like one that I don't really care about. <laughs> Oh, it has a, it has a smell, like a, it has a skincare smell. Oh, I haven't seen myself in a, like, medium coverage foundation in so long, I feel like. So, I think this is medium to buildable, if I'm not mistaken. I used two pumps, which seemed like a lot, but now that I have it on, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing too much at all. Like, I can definitely tell I'm wearing something, just because... I never really wear foundation. So let's go ahead and do some concealer. Normally I just do a very light concealer, but because I'm wearing like a medium coverage foundation, I'll probably need a little bit something more than that. My mom just gave me this from her Ipsy bag because she's not gonna use it. And it's the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I own the original Shape Tape. Uh, but this one is just too matte for me now and it's barely used and I don't know what to do with it. I just haven't gotten rid of it yet, but this is in the shade light medium. I think I usually get light neutral, so this one should be fine. Look at how mini this is. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm going to go light with this because this is a full coverage concealer and I don't want things sinking into my fine lines. The under eyes are okay. I'm not blown away by that concealer. Um, I think you can definitely get a drugstore concealer that performs very similarly. So here's the thing. I have been not setting my face with powder uh, because powder settles into fine lines, but I don't know if this is gonna set. So that's what I'm worried about. Like with my normal routine and I just do concealer, like I don't set it with powder anymore. I just set it with a spray. But I'm really nervous about not setting this. So I don't know what I should do. Should I set it? I kind of think that concealer is already creasing. Is it just me? Is it just me? Mmm maybe i'll set everything very very lightly and then spray it with this for more moisture but this is the anastasia beverly hills translucent <sighs> not me spilling it everywhere translucent loose powder i'm just gonna put a very small bit under the eyes Okay, let's do some blush. You guys know I don't do bronzer anymore, or at least in the winter time I don't. Um, I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Loose Powder Blush in the shade Strawberry Cream. This is my favorite blush for that cold girl look, which by the way, you guys just saw that cold girl thing come out and it, was I not doing that before this came out as a trend? Sorry, but I was. <laughs> Kind of, sort of. Not not to the extreme. Okay, so what I've been doing, and I guess now it's called the cold girl, is like a pinky blush, a blush that makes it look like you're, you're flushed from the cold or something. And I put it on my cheeks and then I also put it on the middle of my face. So like my nose. And then I connect the nose to the cheeks with the blush. I'm going to go ahead and do eyebrows and mascara and then I'll be right back. I decided I'm going to put a tiny bit of eyeshadow on. My mom gave me this eyeshadow palette. It's called On the Daily by Item Beauty. And there's like this frosty pink color here. So let's just do like the actual cold girl look, right? Like whatever. Let's 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 try it, guys. Is this not like the perfect cold girl eyeshadow? Oh my goodness. There's also this color right here. It's like a nude color called Ride or Die. And I'm gonna put that in the crease. All right, somehow that eyeshadow got down here, which is annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna spray this. 
And then I'm gonna do my lips and then we're gonna do this hair because this hair looks crazy right now. I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Double Time. It's like a nudie pink. And then I picked up this, oh, look how cute this is. I picked up this lip gloss from Dollar Tree the other day and I wanna see how it looks. This is actually CoverGirl brand. So CoverGirl, found it at Dollar Tree, you guys. Go get you some. They had a bunch of other lip products, but they were matte lip products. And I'm kind of into the glossy. I've just been doing glossy for a long time now. I think glossy is more my thing than matte. I can't stand the feeling of my lips with matte lipstick. So I'm excited to see. Oh, that's an interesting tip there. <gasps> all right let's put it on with our finger oh my god you guys can't even see how you can't even see how glittery that is right now but <sighs> it looks white it's not white you guys it's actually glitter oh my god is it too much all right, y'all, I was mistaken. It is not a lip gloss. It is a top coat, like it says. It doesn't glide like a lip gloss. It just puts glitter on your lips, like literally. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a gloss because all I did was just add glitter. I actually have this glitter lip gloss, which is pretty much out, but it's by the brand beauty creations and it's the ultra dazzle lip gloss and one of you guys sent this to me when i had a peel box and this is one of my most favorite oh it's in the shade gold digger it says this is one of my most favorite most worn lip glosses as you can see there's like barely any left in here so whoever sent that to me because i can't remember right at this moment i love this lip gloss and thank you so much that was like two years ago but love that lip gloss and I like the added glitter from this because it just gives it that much more of a bling. All right, bro chicas, I'm ready for the day. So I went ahead and put these black room glasses on and this hat, actually hubby got me this hat for Christmas and I thought it was my package to open and I rushed through and impulsively opened it and it wasn't my package to open, it was actually hubby's package. So I accidentally saw my part of my Christmas present early, so. I felt so bad. I literally profusely apologized. I feel terrible about it because I honestly love the surprise of presents. I don't like ruining it. So anyways, I'm going to wear it because I already opened it and then he already gave it to me because of that. Um, so I'm wearing a hat. It's obviously cold. There's a lot of snow on the ground. I straightened my hair. That's typically what I like to do um when I wear a beanie and then I just put a silver necklace on I did change my shirt I found the one that um I was looking for before because I just feel like an outfit like this looks better with like a tight long sleeve black t-shirt so I've got this on please don't mind that mess over there but here's the shoes they match the hat the hat and the shoes aren't an exact match to this vest, but I still think that you get the idea. And it is kind of monochromatic, and I still think it looks really nice regardless. So this is the fit for today. I will try to get a little picture outside so you guys can see it in the sunlight. But I really like the makeup. I think the makeup came out really, really cute. So please let me know what you guys think. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. We are in the middle of Vlogmas right now. So if you love Vlogmas, uh, here is the place to be. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow.